Welcome to Echoes of Enlightenment, where we talk about spirituality, life lessons, and overall self-development. In today's episode, we'll be talking about co-creating with the universe. I wanted to talk about co-creating with the universe. Some might ask, what do you mean by co-creating with the universe? How do, how do you co-create with the universe? The universe wants us to create. That's the only way it can actually experience this third dimensional world that we live in. It's through us, through us humans. Because think about it. Our spirits can only interact on earth through our human bodies. That's that's how we're able to taste things. That's how we're able to experience the physical things that's on this planet. Interact Interact with things. It's through our body. So the universe wants to help us, but we have to first be able to help ourselves. We have to we have to do the work as spirits having a human experience. So as we pick our goals and our destinations that we're trying to go and achievements we want to, you know, try to make happen, we have to put the movement. We have to move because the the spiritual world is invisible. So it can't do things on the 3D world, not unless it's through us or an object that's on the 3D world, that's on Earth. So if the universe wants to experience Earth, it needs us to be able to navigate it. Kind of like how the rover is on Mars, the Mars rover. We can't experience Mars unless the rover is up there moving around, checking out rocks and, you know, rivers, whatever, whatever's up there. That's the only way we can experience Mars is through the rover. So the rover has to be operating and moving around for us to be able to do anything on Mars. So that's kind of how it is here. We're the rover as humans on Earth. And the universe and the spiritual world works through us to experience this place. Now, if we're sitting down on the couch and not doing anything, the spiritual world can't help us do anything. So the way the universe works through us is by us taking some action by us coming up with a goal because the universe wants to help us reach our goals it wants us to succeed because this is an experience here this place is an experience and the reason why I say it's an experience is because we're like you can ask somebody where did we come from before we were here on earth I don't know nobody knows What's what's the point of us being here on earth Most people say, I don't know. What happens after we leave Earth? I don't know. Okay, so so there's so it's an experience. We don't know, so we need to figure figure it out or enjoy and or find the best way to interact with this place to get the most enjoyment out of it while we're here. And we can do that through the physical, but we also need to remember that. We also came from somewhere that was in the spiritual because we were zero before we became humans. So that means we were in the spiritual world. We were somewhere else and then we came here to experience this place. So we're still connected to the spiritual world, whether we want to to be or not. 
So there's no need for us to rule out different concepts or different experiences that other people have had that have been able to connect some of these dots and realize that there's more to this world than just the physical. And when people try to explain, like me explaining what's going on now, it's me just telling you what I've learned along my journey. And there's a ton of people that's learned a lot of stuff during their journey. And don't don't count them out because, I mean, we all, we're all here and don't even know why we're here. Or what's our point? What's the point of life? So why would we rule out some of these things that we're figuring out about this place. So what I've realized about co- the way you co-create with the universe is by moving. You have to move. You have to put action into whatever you're trying to create. Whatever destination you're trying to go to. Whatever goals you're trying to reach. You have to put action into it. And you got to remember, once we hit a brick wall, sometimes we don't know, like, oh, I don't know how this is going to happen. Remember that the universe is infinite. So there's other ways that it can assist you because it wants to help you. It wants, it wants to experience this place, too. It wants you to reach your goals and enjoy yourself while you're here. So you're co-creating. It needs you as much as you need it. But when we're but we're not taught that we need the spiritual world as much as we do. You don't know you need it until you learn how to use it. Then you're like, oh, this is how it works. Okay, okay. I have to have faith. I have to be able to believe in some things I can't see. And when something happens by me believing and having faith and something magical kind of happens, I have to be like, well, this is part of what I've been trying to do. This is something that's helping me. It's not a coincidence. This is not something, this is not just a fluke. Because if you think it's a fluke, you're not going to continue to just go follow that same pattern that you're that you're doing, creating. You're going to think, oh, this just happened. So your motivation level is not going to be you're not going to be as motivated. You're just going to think it just happened like, oh, okay, well, let me just I guess I got lucky that time. But if you're like, oh, nah, this happened because of my faith and I'm actually creating with the universe. I'm creating with spirit and something happens and you're like, Oh, okay. Let me, let me keep going. Let me keep trying. Let me keep going forward. Let me see what happens next. And something else will happen. Something will unfold because you, you're going to get to places where you don't know how you're going to continue to move forward. How is this going to work? The universe is like, don't worry about how it's going to work. You just keep moving forward and I have your back. And that tricky part is you don't even know that the universe has your back. So that's where the faith comes in. You got to you got to take these steps. So as you take steps and what happens is. You're going to once you hit this brick wall, you know, it's not it's not really a brick wall. It's just. Different bumps in the road. You know, there's different bumps in the road on our journey through life. But usually when we hit bumps, we look at them as, oh, this is a problem. This is, you know, this is something that you don't like. And no, this is hard. Now your focus is on the problem instead of your goal. You've you've taken your eyes off the prize. But if you can start looking at some of these challenges and different little problems that pop up as the training that you need 
to take the next step in your own goal, in the goal, then you can learn from that, that hardship that you're experiencing. Because the thing is, sometimes when we hit these brick, brick walls, these walls and stumbling blocks, it's the universe letting us know that, hey, I can reveal the rest of the road or, you know, the next step of the road to you. But you're not ready as a human. You haven't you don't have the knowledge or the skill yet to move to this next level. So I need to give you this issue. It's just like some training. You got to work this problem out and you got to figure out what this is and get the lesson from it to move to the next point of this journey. I want to open up the the next road for you. But you have to get through this problem first. Because otherwise, if I open up this, this is the universe talking. Otherwise, if I open up this next road for you to go down, you're going to crash and burn. You're not going to be able to do it. And the universe is never going to give you any. And when I say universe, I'm also talking about God as well. God is never going to give you anything you can't handle. Sometimes it seems like you can't. Like, I don't think I'm able to make it through this. But he knows what you can make it through. The universe knows what you can make it through. It's just pushing you. It's pushing you harder than you would push yourself. Because the next leg of that race to your goal is going to be a tough one. And you need to be well trained. And you might say, well, what if this problem that I'm going through has nothing to do with the goal that I'm trying to reach? You don't know that it doesn't have anything to do with the goal that you're trying to reach. Because you don't know what the next leg of the race is. You're, you're at a standstill right now dealing with this challenge. This challenge, because the universe is infinite. It always throw you curveballs it might do something magical it might reveal to you something simple but if you didn't know what the simple fix was that's still just as big as something magical because you didn't know what it was but you're glad you found it because now it opens the doors to the next level so it doesn't matter how magical mind-blowing the reveal was or it could be something so simple and you're like oh I could have easily done that. No, you couldn't have because you didn't even know what the problem was. So the thing is, is to learn, make it through your, your challenge and learn what you need to learn from that challenge. Get something out of it. There's always something to get out of it. And the key is, and another important part is, while you're going through this challenge, keep walking forward towards your goal. Keep walking forward. I guarantee the universe will it unfold. You'll be figuring out this plan. You just it's like it's like you wanting to run a marathon. You're still running, you're still doing your your jogging, but at the same time, you're eating healthy. You're doing other stuff on the side. You're getting sleep. You're you're preparing your body in different ways. It all it's all connected. You know, it's not just only running that you're doing. You're also eating well, you're resting your body, you're getting some sleep. You're spending time in nature. All of it's connected to the main goal because you add up all those different things. That will help your body, your mind and your body for that marathon race that you're going to run. But you still got to be running. You still got to be, you know, moving while you're doing other stuff, while you're achieving other little side quests. And long as you keep moving towards your goal and overcoming little challenges, you will when once you get, once the universe, it's going to do something and open up a door once you get stuck. It will. I guarantee 
It's it happens all the time. I I know I just have to keep moving forward, and the universe is gonna do it. And I'm like, thank you. I knew you were gonna come through. I didn't know how you were gonna come through. And sometimes I even be like, are you gonna come through? But I keep moving forward, even that I might question the universe. But I'm still moving forward, so that proves that I'm not questioning it. Well, I'm questioning it, but I'm not questioning it. I still have enough faith faith to move forward, which entails the universe is going to continue to co-create and help me with where I'm trying to go. And as things open up, magical little things that are happening you just well, you can never predict it. There's 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 a way. As long as you keep moving forward, there's a way. And soon as something opens up for you for you to move to that next level, show, you know, be grateful. Just be like, thank you so much. And then the weird thing will happen sometimes. As soon as I say thank you, I get like a ding on my watch. Ding. It's like the universe saying, You're welcome. It'll be some kind of confirmation that I get. And, you know, sometimes I'm like, man, you know, and I still go, dang, this is crazy because it's unbelievable. It's absolutely unbelievable how things work out. As long as I keep going, even if I don't know, just keep walking forward and always get the lesson. And then after it reveals the next leg of of this journey say thank you and there will be some type of confirmation of the universe saying you're welcome but I'm in this right here until next time